Welcome back to another episode on Photoshop Basic Series and Vectrix Home. Today we'll be learning how to write on the sides of a queue and create a simple yet attractive logo. Let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do here is create a queue. For that I'll use the paint tool. With the shape mode selected, I'll go with no fill and a stroke of just one point. Create a random queue. The lines should not be perfect from the beginning. You can always modify them later with the path selection tool. Let's group them and make it look more like a cube. Once you are happy with the cube shape, select the type tool and add text to your canvas. Let's say Louis, that's what it's called in French. Select a typeface that looks equal with an height ratio. You know you can move a type layer with the type tool too when the type cursor is active on the layer, right? All you need to do is move your mouse pointer away from the type layer and once the pointer returns to move tool, you can click and drag the layer. I'll go with my dear pro here that'll give me taller text and a font size that fits the cube. Well, that looks good. Let's type some more text for all the sides too. Let's make it look really cube. Eh? Then let's move them to the sides where we want them to be. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's hide the other text and work with one only. Right click on the layer on the layers panel and rasterize it. We can't manipulate a text layer, so we'll need to convert it to a raster layer first. Then all you need to do is hit the controller command T to transform the layer. Once the transfer handles appear, right click on it and select disturb. Now you can stretch or compress the layer to your liking, maintaining the perspective. Try to match the outlines of the layer to those of the cube. Hit enter or click OK to confirm the transformation. And you can see the text appears to be on the other side of the cube rather than dull flat text facing the front. Let's do the same with the other text layers too. And you can see how the text looks now. Let's increase the cube size and add more text to make it look more dynamic.
Play with the spacings to make it uniform on all sides. And you can see how good a logo can be made with a simple technique. Well, that's all about writing on sides of a cube in Photoshop. I hope this video really helps you to learn Photoshop to a greater extent. Hit like if you found this video useful. If you think you have some ideas that can help me produce more better videos, share it through the comments. Let me know what you feel about the video through the comments as well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe us for more videos. Thank you.